is this basically the last significant chunk of unpublished Tolkien material other than maybe some more letters and academic writings? Right. Um, as far as I'm aware, and I've seen it between myself and my team members, um, the other, the other three, we've laid our eyes on everything that is not strictly off limits to everybody except for the family, essentially. Hmm. So I am unaware of any remaining significant amount of Middle Earth writing that remains unpublished. I mean, writings concerning Middle Earth yeah. that remain unpublished. Now, I Except that wrong. I was reading online and I found out about the complaint of Mim the Dwarf, which I had never heard oh, of before. That was the one yes. I'd like to see. That's a poem well, about... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of a a sore topic. Uh -oh. um, th things were done that weren't done right, the right way. And so I, I don't know what plans, if any, the, the estate might have for for publishing that. And presumably, there's an original English version of it somewhere um i personally have never seen the english version um so i would just say don't hold your breath <laughs> okay um maybe maybe someday <laughs> yeah. yeah so but not too much more coming in the in the way of middle earth material mm -mm. not that i'm aware of now you mentioned letters there are lots of letters out there that haven't been published yet mm -hmm. um and there is a a lot of tolkien's um, academic writings that have only been partially some some of the, a few things have been edited and published um, yeah. usually in small hard to find volumes these days right um, but that effort is definitely going on I'm personally aware of at least two such efforts right now um, I'm, I'm not involved with that um, but yeah, the the academic lecture notes, the papers, and such like that that that's a large area of his academic output that remains unpublished, and I expect mm -hmm. will be published over time. I, I don't see any reason why uh, the Tolkien estate would not want them to be published. Um, right. Obviously, some of Tolkien's ideas might be academically out of date, but they're Tolkien's ideas, so there's definitely a market for that sort of thing. I see. Um, yeah, and I think that you know he he probably still has contributions to make um in those papers um to his field and then there's um there's a lot of Tolkien's poems that have not been published yet uh, mostly not dealing with middle earth but right. um i expect to see something done there too hmm. but again in terms of is there going to be another volume like the nature of middle earth or another volume of the history of middle earth i'm not aware of any of any uh, sufficient material to produce such a thing right so as far as I know, this is the last.